If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 93 of My Player here on FIFA 15. We start today with a game against Everton. Hopefully we're selected after, uh, of course, skipping the international friendlies. We have been. Uh, today we've got a game against Everton at the weekend at home and then we are away, I believe, I think, against Schalke in the Champions League. Uh, we missed the last game against Schalke through injury, so it'd be nice to actually play against the German side, see how we get on. And then in the next episode, we've got Liverpool and Chelsea. So really big games going on right now. It's the Cup of One Cup quarterfinal. So some really big games over the next episode or two. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the episode. If you do, then hit that like button and of course subscribe if you haven't already. There was a really important video went up yesterday. Don't know whether you saw it. The majority of you did, I believe. But of course, uh, there's a vote going on right now for two different career mode series. One, to replace the Liverpool series on YouTube, and two, for the next series to be going up on twitch.tv forward slash Chesno Gaming over there whilst I stream a series as well. So uh, be sure to check the channel page for that vote and uh, have your say on said straw polls. And fingers crossed, uh, sooner rather than later, we'll actually be able to uh, confirm which teams we're playing as for the uh, foreseeable future in, uh, in overall general manager career mode at least. But right now we're playing at Man United, we're playing well at Man United, and uh, hopefully we can continue to rise up the league as well. Barkley into Stephen Naismith. Back out to catch Niglitz. They've signed him from Fulham. Decent signing, actually. He's a decent youngster. Brian Oviedo, although he won't be young now or in the fourth season, but still great chance for Everton. They're 1-0 up inside four minutes. Or inside five minutes, Kevin Morales with the header. That was a really nicely worked move, to be completely honest. Very well done by Everton. A deserved 1-0 lead after they... Uh, well, that's the first move of the game, so it has to be a deserved lead because they're the only team that's done something so far. Everton fans in the corner of the ground going nuts. Nice header from Kevin Morales. Really, really well worked. Nice ball by Oviedo into Barkley. Stands it up well, and that's an extremely good header, although you have to feel that a better goalkeeper might have actually been able to keep that out. But, of course, we only have two 65-rated goalkeepers at the club right now. Definitely something that uh, Manchester United need to uh, have a look at in the upcoming transfer window. It's a nice ball into the path of the onrushing Luke Shaw. Call for the cross. He stood it up well. It's actually gone to Fellaini at the back post. It was a great save out of Kiel. Fellaini with a second header. We're back on level terms at 1-1. Against his old club, no chances of an apology celebration here. Fellaini's delighted. And that's 1-1. Good save from the initial header. And I'll be honest, I called for the ball after he saved it. Right here, I called for it. And I wanted the pass. But he's done really well to loop that header towards the back post. It's Manchester United 1. Everton 1. And uh, thankfully, Marouane Fellaini is like six foot five, so uh, we're able to get that header on target and into the back of the net. Time to go and get ourselves in front. Going to use Oviedo down this left-hand side. It's where they went for their goal. Are they going to use this left-hand side again? Brian Oviedo has the space for a cross and does whip it, and that is a very good cross as well. Luke Shaw and Bentley, but they're going to get it away. Naismith trying his best. Oh, that's a strong challenge on the goalkeeper. I mean, I guess he had the right to go for that because the ball was loose. He's not going to get a booking, though, which is probably fair. But the ball did pop loose. You can't blame him. Striker's always got to go for that. Although, keeper did already have it under wraps. But still, strong challenge, but no punishment. Throwing for us. And apparently, I'm going to take it. Fair enough. Well, we'll throw it into Raphael. Can he give it to me? He can. Can I get the cross in? Yes. Can we find a teammate? Yes. Di Maria to Robin Van Persie. Chess it down. Gets his... <gasps> Robin Van Persie with an absolute... Perler brings it down beautifully off his chest and gorgeous win, uh, winesse. Whipped finesse is the, is the two words I was trying to get out in one go there. What a goal from Robin Van Persie. That left foot is absolute gold. You see the players going nuts in the corner. We've come from 1-0 down. Really good cross. Well headed down. But that, that shot, that is just world class. Pure quality from Robin Van Persie. On the volley, technique as well. Beats the goalkeeper and the defenders in off the woodwork. Manchester United 2, Everton 1. Oh, what a goal. Di Maria. I'm going to... I was going to about to call for that, but no, I'll call for the ball now. Oh, gorgeous pass from Angel Di Maria, but I'm not going to get there. Oh, and I've slid... I, I did that out of frustration. I've slid in on the keeper the same way that Stephen Naismith did earlier on in the game. He didn't get booked, but I am going to get booked. Well, where's the consistency, referee? You didn't give Stephen Naismith a, a yellow card for a similar challenge earlier on in the game, and now you're going to book me for it. Not too keen, although it wasn't the best of challenges. I am allowed to go for a ball like that, though, when it's loose on the edge of the box. Shut up, keeps. Oh, well, we've got ourselves a yellow card. 
Here's Lukaku. Just come onto the pitch. Finding some space. There's Ross Barkley. Great strike. Good save by Ben Amos. He's only palmed it straight back to Kevin Morales, who should have finished that opportunity. That should have been his second goal of the game, the Belgian. Open goal to Amat, and he's volleyed it wide. Perhaps put off by the pressure of Raphael sprinting towards him, closing the space down, but he's got to put that away. That really should be 2-2. They may live to rue that chance. If we definitely get three points, then uh, they'll be extremely disappointed with uh, their Belgian teammate. Into stoppage time, trying to play it short. We have been on part of the bus for a while, and you can probably tell from the way that he's just hoofed that clear. We are still on a defensive setting, and we've gone back to park the bus again. And the uh, in stoppage time here, we'll bring that down well. I'll try and flick it back over my head. Oh, buddy, see you later, Seamus. Oh, well, Dan Gibson's there. That would have been really good if we could have uh, actually flicked that over my head and then continued that move going. Unfortunately, Everton have got the ball back. They are still 2-1 down. It's been a bit of a dead second half, unfortunately. Other than my booking, there hasn't really been too much to show you as far as I can recall. And there goes the final whistle. Perhaps no Lukaku was offside. So we're still playing, but it really shouldn't be long until the referee does blow his final whistle. We've gone short. We're going to hoof... What is even the point, honestly? Ridiculous. But it hasn't cost us, but that is so, so retarded from the CPU there. Do not understand that whatsoever, but one thing we do understand is three points. We've gotten three here, thanks to a good-headed goal from Marouane Fellaini against his former club and an absolute worldie from Robin Van Persie. So three points for United. Uh, we don't get an assist or a goal, but... At the end of the day, it's the team game, or it is the team game, and it's the team that matters. So three points will do, and hopefully we can get three more in the Champions League against Schalke. We might get three more points in the Champions League against Schalke, but it's not going to be us that are going to be winning them. Rooney and Van Persie, the two strikers that the manager has selected to play in this one, have been dropped again. Not really too sure why. Maybe it's fitness. Maybe it's the fact that we haven't scored in that Everton game. I'm not entirely too sure, but... Rooney didn't really do much when he came off the bench. We've lost the game 1-0 thanks to a far fan penalty in the 64th minute, which is not going to leave us in a very good position in that Champions League group, and we may be out. We've been dropped for the Liverpool game as well. What are you doing, manager? What is life? I'm going to scroll through and we'll have a look at the uh, Champions League group because I'm not sure whether we even stand a chance of getting out of that group now. I don't understand why we're being dropped. We were in Group F or something, weren't we? Group F, yeah. Five games played. We need to win the final game to even stand a chance of going through to the knockout rounds of the uh, the Champions League. And even if we win and Milan win, we may only be in the Europa League after that anyway. We just need to make sure we finish at least third. Otherwise, we won't have any European football here at Manchester United for the rest of the season. Not been selected for the Liverpool game. Not that RVP or Rooney did anything in the Schalke game to warrant uh, being called up instead of myself but we'll see if we can get a win here no a 3-1 defeat Rooney scores but a 3-1 defeat for Manchester United Hamsik gets a brace so are we going to be selected for this Chelsea game surely we have to be now Rooney's done well dropped again why I, I cannot even begin to understand why we've been dropped honestly this is baffling me We've been scoring goals. We lose 2-1 in this game as well. So now we're out of the Capital One Cup. That was a, a cup quarter-final and we're out of that uh, competition as well. I don't understand. Look, we've got 10 goals in 14 games. Let me go into the squad report and just compare myself with the, the other strikers. Let me sort by position. So we go down and have a look at the strikers. Where are we? RVP has 10 in 23. Fair enough. I have 9 in 13. Wayne Rooney has four in 21, and he's getting played ahead of me. I don't understand why. Honestly, you can probably tell that I'm quite irate from the way that I'm now ranting at the, uh, the microphone. But this is really starting to frustrate me now, because we're playing well in a Man United shirt, and we're just not getting played. We've been selected for this home game against QPR. We will play it, and this will be a properly probably be a long episode unless I can edit some of the unnecessary stuff out but again RVP isn't playing he scored 10 goals Rooney scored four and Rooney starts Louis van Gaal you really do confuse me cleverly into me I'll play inside Rooney's making a good run but Blind will play the back heel to matter space on this far side for Bentaleb who then finds Rooney We'll try to get it through to the box. It has found Blind. We're 1-0 up early on in the opening stages. No, we're not because Daily Blind was offside. Everton scored in almost exactly the same second in uh, the first game of the episode. And uh, unfortunately, this time, Daily Blind is just offside. Only just as well. But uh, we stay at 0-0. Flick that on Chez. Oh, I have done. There's Wayne Rooney. He's clean through. I'm going to let him go on his own. I'm going to let him go his own. Oh, and I'm glad we did. 
technically that's an assist for us. I think I won that header. I'm not entirely too sure. It may have been the defender, but regardless, we are 1-0 in front. It's the second time we've had the ball in the net, obviously. Daly Blinn's chance was offside. I don't know whether I got that flick on. I think I did, but uh, it happened so quickly. I'm not really too sure whether uh, I actually got this. I wasn't too sure whether Wayne Rooney was actually going to finish that in the end. He slowed down and then started to change direction two or three times. I was a little bit concerned that it was going to miss the chance. I would quickly check to see if we did get the assist. Let's have a look. Player performance. We did not get the assist. Brilliant. Thank you, game. Oh, well, never mind. We're one nil up, and that's all that matters. Junior Hoylet throws, threads that through to Raphael. Obviously, I presume it's the Raphael from, uh, from the Bundesliga. Nice ball into Rooney. I call for through ball. He's threaded me through. Now, we've got the pace to get there. Let's try that turn to get inside. I'm going to try a left-footed shot. No, he's taking it on his right. It doesn't matter. It's into the back of the net. I waited a left-footed goal there, really, to be completely honest. Not going to get many better opportunities to actually score a weak-foot goal, but it doesn't matter. We're on the score sheet. Louis van Gaal, you were an idiot. Why are you not playing me? I'm scoring goals. Really good hit. It actually moved quite a bit in front of the goalkeeper there, and uh, he was going one way and had to try and readjust his feet and couldn't quite do it. Regardless, it's Manchester United 2, QPR 0. And quite frankly, Louis van Gaal is idiotic not to be playing me every single week. Luke Saw with the throw. I was going to call for it. I don't need to because he's given it to me. There's Tom Cleverley. We knocked it down to him. Still working well, Tom Cleverley. Finds Matter, who's tried the header of all things from 18 yards. One Matter. Not really too sure why, to be completely honest, but he still managed to at least get the shot on target. We are 2 0 up, though, so fair play. At least it's not. Uh, the, a chance that denies us the opportunity to actually win the game. That's a nice fake turn, though, there. I will try and get inside. Do I pass it? Nah. Bollocks. I'm a striker. I want to score. Oh, we might still get a goal. No. What a block. Beat the goalkeeper. Beat the other defender. But a fantastic goal line block by Robinson. And then Bentaleb, unfortunately, couldn't get the uh, the next effort into the uh, the back of the net. I see the run there by RVP. We'll dink it over. Can he get there? Uh, no. No, he can't. Close to another assist, though, because I'm pretty sure he would have finished it there if he'd actually managed to get onto the end of the ball. Fair. Up to Cranchar. They're going to get themselves a consolation goal, QPR. There really isn't too much long left. Traore is going to get it out wide to Cranchar again. There's a man in the middle waiting for a cross, although, of course, has been deflected. A bent and smalling between them with a couple of decent headers get it away. Robinson is going to try and get it back in the box, so kind of hit and hope right now. It's on target. It didn't end up in the back of the net, regardless of the fact that he was offside. Keeper... Pretty sure would have saved that. There goes the final whistle then. A pretty comfortable 2-0 win for us over QPR. We scored a goal as well and almost got an assist. To be completely honest, probably should have gotten an assist. So uh, to be fair, Louis van Gaal, there is your answer. There's a response from me to being dropped. Obviously, we haven't really had too much of a challenge in getting first team football to this point in our career. But right now, we are uh, facing some stiff competition from Wayne Rooney and Robin van Persie for one of those two striker slots. I'm not going to turn the, uh, the challenge down, though. It's nice to actually have a challenge to get first team football now. But if whenever the manager plays me, if I can get a goal or be involved, then uh, obviously um, he has a big decision on his hands as to whether to start me. But... I'm not really too sure why he didn't play me for Schalke, Liverpool or Chelsea, but uh, we'll have to wait and see in the next episode whether we get played by, for the Basel game. We need a win in that game to ensure that we at least get Europa League football, if not knockout rounds of the Champions League. All depends on that Schalke-Milan game. But for now, that is going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, and I will see you next time.